I wanted to put together this short video to show people that are using an HDL like Verilog how they can make a submission to Tiny Tape Out. So we have a few things on the website working with HDLs. On the resources we're collecting useful information and also got a link to the Verilog and HDL channel on the Discord server. We've got HDL templates, so we'll add more templates here, but for now we've just got this Verilog demo, so I'll get to that in a minute. And then we've also got this article by Tholin, who's written a bit of information on how the testing works. So if you want to build a test for your design, that's a really good resource. So let's take a look at the repository. I'm on the Verilog demo here, which is forked from the submission template. And if we take a look at the info.yaml, the important thing is that the Wokwe ID is set to zero, which tells the system that we're doing an HDL design. And then you must list all the source files separately. You can't use a star to do that. That uh, messes up stuff later down the line. And you also need to tell it the name of the top module. You can see we've got all the three green lights here passing. Uh, the GDS and the docs are required to do a submission and the test is strongly advised. If we go to the source, then we can see we've got the counter and the decoder uh, Verilog files, and inside the counter, we've got the, the top module. Now, if we take a look at the action, the GDS one is the one I want to take a look at. Checking out the repository, and it also checks out the TT Tools repository that's new in Tiny Tape Out 3. Uh, so we have a new tool here called TT Tool and that repository gets cloned so that we can use the TT tool. And this is the first part where it fetches the Verilog and builds a config. So it's going to run create user config. So I'll show you what happens when I do that on the command line here. I'm in my Verilog demo um, and I'm going to say TT tool. Here's all the things we can do and I'm going to do create user config. And that has created the include file. So in source, now we also have the user config.tickle. And that basically just includes, sets what the top is, the design name, and then includes the uh, files that are important. And those files are the ones that we've set in the info.yaml when we're telling Tiny Tape Out that we're not going to be a Wokwe project. That's why this is set to zero. Instead, we're going to be an HDL project with a given top module and the given source files. Now let's talk a little bit about how you can test your design. I'm a fan of CocoaDB, uh, so I have this make file that is the CocoaDB default and I set my Verilog sources here including a top level testbench.v and here I'm basically instantiating my design wiring up some inputs and outputs with some convenience wires so I can talk about clock and reset instead of port 0 and 1 and I can take the 7 segment display and make a segments output and then all the testing actually happens in this Python file so I start a clock I do a reset and then I count to 10 waiting for this 100 clocks, which is how long it takes to count up to the next number on the seven segment display, and then uh, asserting that the segments that I'm getting out are matching the expected segments to be shown on the display. So I can just do make here, and that's going to leave me a GTK wave file. I mean, a VCD file, I've already got the GTK wave file. And if I load that, I can see there's the clock, the reset, and then the segments counting up in the order that I expect. And we do have a test GitHub action. And this is essentially installing the OSS CAD suite from Yosis HQ, um, printing a bit of debug information, then changing to the source directory and running make, which will run that make file. And then it's searching for this uh, failure in the results.xml so if there is a problem this github action will fail now it's optional to add the test you don't need that to submit your design but i do recommend it given the long waits that we'll have to receive our designs and the fact that we can't change things afterwards so good luck let me know how you get on and i'll see you in the verilog and hdl's channel of the discord